I think that, uh, uh, that all these lectures has been incredibly inspiring. And after 11 talks, um, I think we have concluded that the necessity of uh, engagement or the necessity of developing a critical position is really important and is something to be taught in the, in the school, no? it's to, to convince our students that they have to develop this attitude to, the, to, to afford reality with a critical uh, way of seeing what's around us, so redescribing it. So um, instead of reading all my notes, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll ask all the participants one advice to these students, the ones here and the ones in the streaming, you know, uh, about what to do, uh, how to do it, how to start. Why I ask you this, uh, the origin of this uh, conference is um, this uh, frustration that many times uh, faculty have when your good students finish their careers and they ask you for a letter of recommendation for a bad office. So, <laughs> uh, and uh, how bad you feel thinking that this is going to be, this person is going to be lost. In the, you know. Unfortunately, you, you meet them a few years after and they, did, they do as well as uh, was expected, but not every, not all, all, every time. No? Um, so you have two micros, uh, one here and the other is over there. So please start giving this advice. You can start from the table also. You are. <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, maybe Philip will disagree completely, that's normal. Um, I think the main thing is that don't start the new phase only when you finish the previous one. Like, it, it makes no sense that what's going to happen after you finish graduation. No, you should start already. Like, even when you work for someone else, if you have other expectations, start working on them. It's not a, a boxed thing. It can be a, it works better and it's easier to after sometimes start something yours if you start merging it with whatever is happening around you. So don't wait to start. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I think the honesty is very important to actually build whatever if you want to make something original and I also start boxing so <laughs> both <laughs> to, to <laughs> Well I've tried to be very encouraging during the interventions but I mean if you're feeling passionate about architecture right now the, the way you've been um, educated to look at the world, that's going to accompany you forever, for good and for bad. So have the confidence that you, you will continue to feel passionate about this always, and that you are in the right path. Yeah. It's difficult to add anything, but uh, what I would just recommend maybe it's to, uh, if you didn't do it before, but maybe it's also would be helpful to go study also something else uh, besides architecture. <laughs> <laughs> or have a side I, job. <laughs> yeah, just, just because to, to have some kind of a more open mind and uh, to, to be influenced uh, by other aspects of culture than architecture itself because uh, architecture as a profession tends to be very uh, kind of a claustrophobic in a way that uh, architects work hard and they tend to uh, seclude themselves from society and I don't think that's a good thing. I think they should be more engaged uh, with uh, uh, the public life uh, as, as it is. So uh, just to experience the public life and other facets of, uh, of, of the city, of the culture and of the people. Well, uh, it was already said, so I will just confirm it. Uh, so perhaps maybe the most important thing is be, to be really honest uh, to yourself, and that's maybe enough for the beginning. Um, I would say after so much you heard today, I'm not sure if I would take everything. So be open about you know the possibilities of change, and I think you should also feel entitled to build up your own constellation of thinking 
And I think uh, that's never lost time. Um, I would say that upon graduation, it's okay to feel the burden of, of, of academia, of your professors, of the history of architecture, but I do think that, especially nowadays, the voice of, of a younger generation, and in, in fact the voice of someone who's recently graduated, is a valid voice and a voice that perhaps we also, I mean also has been demonstrated today by a series of, of speakers who have embarked on the same kind of challenges that you have. I think that the um, last panel, um, although we went, we got a little bit negative there at the end there, um, I think like it was really encouraging and positive for me to see that through a series of smaller projects as they began, there was a really strong language and critical thinking develop over the series of projects which then became really fantastic larger projects and the thinking and the, the sort of critical theory that came with those smaller projects, the, the time that they took to do them, then became a very strong language of the practice. And I think that's what, um, you know, as students as coming out of that stage, whether it's entering into small competitions or whether it's doing furniture or whether it's doing set designs, whatever it might be, you, you start that, that sort of pathway down a, a line of conceptual and critical thinking that frames your own language up, which then you, you celebrate that language. And whenever you do something from then, it kind of, it, creates a catalogue or a way of thinking and that's when it becomes really fun. You can see it demonstrated in the work of that last panel. They were having a lot of fun, I thought. Um, I'll absolutely confer uh, com um, confirm what Ben said a moment ago. Absorb everything you've absorbed over these years of study and then have the confidence to throw it away and reinvent your own voice. You know, come out firmly and strongly in your career as your own you know, have agency, you know, you are a new architect, you are a new generation, uh, and then you will have the clarity of thought to present your ideas to the world, to clients, um, and to take them forward and to make great work. Um, so stand on your own two feet. <laughs> Embrace failure, <laughs> because it's so much part of our profession. <laughs> and don't be worried about it when it happens for the first time. I'm sure it maybe already happens in university. But um, kind of confirmation that things are going well will, will take some time. So <laughs> hang in there. Well, feel, feel what you have to do. Like you, you trained your intuition for a couple of years at mm -hmm. school here. And there are so, so many possibilities, so many ways. So already today you saw like 11 paths into the world of architecture. and. There are a hundred more paths and everybody who is eager can find his own or her own path. And there are many opportunities, even now, even if it's maybe depressing um, <laughs> in some parts, but it's, we, are all, we are all here because we have also fun. And it's, we have more fun than we are maybe depressed. And perhaps one uh, thing is, above all these te teams keep on trying because it's not just the best who will survive, it's also these who are, will s stay with the passion and stay with the, and learn from the failures and all this. Just keep on going. And maybe cooperate. Um, it's much easier if you are two or three, <laughs> like you see in many offices today. If you find something interesting, um, you just um, go there and meet people and d do what you want. <laughs> uh, in early times, we often uh, moved our office for one project and we stayed at the site and meet people, talk with people, and that was really um, nice things to do. So good luck <laughs> and, and find nice partner <laughs> and friends to do your, your office together. Uh, I think uh, making architecture is initially uh, positive uh, to make something, uh, make people positive, so please don't uh, be uh, 
and uh, after graduated uh, from uh, school, uh, we have to work hard to solve the many problems. But in in school, you you can concentrate your project. I think that is very important. Uh, uh, the, uh, <laughs> if you work hard, uh, if you think about your project hard, that uh, gives you a strong power. Uh, mm, so please believe yourself. <laughs> If uh, relating to the issue of um, speaking the five languages, which is uh, really, I think we are all experts on, on that, but if you really understand what you're proposing, uh, then you will succeed. Uh, and maybe you can uh, skip a few of those languages also. So in other words, uh, if you or don't propose something that you don't under, uh, understand. And if you uh, don't understand it, uh, maybe you should make it uh, more simple. So don't quit until you understand it fully, you know. Tôi nghĩ rằng là các kiến sư mới ra trường sẽ có nhiều cái khó khăn. Nhưng mà nếu mình suy nghĩ tích cực và tìm cái niềm vui ở trong cái cái phương pháp làm là những cái ý tưởng của mình mà nếu không ai dùng, không ai để ý hoặc không ai à, và bị từ chối à, thì mình cũng ghi chép lại và à, giữ giữ nó tạo thành một cái um, cái cái um, cái, 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 cái niềm vui ở trong cái cái, cái cái suy nghĩ. So in in the very start of an graduate when we propose thing, we create thing, uh, we need to find joy in what we do. And we do propose though, even though it's rejected, it's not come true as what you wish, you should keep it and keep the joy from it. And maybe later on, you will need that. Not at this moment, not, not at this time, but in the future where you go back and then, uh, so maybe you can do it in, in the future. So, so mm, keep the joy, being joyful with whatever you do, and, 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 and it will be continuous with that. I was discussing with you about this getting commissions, reaching clients, negotiating briefs, because only after eight hours of elevated discussion, this kind of things about being paid <laughs> <laughs> arise to the <laughs> conversation, no? Uh, and, and also about these routines, agendas, or strategies that you you, you have designed in, in your office to, 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 to get your work and to, and to develop it, no? This uh, claim, no, of um, having a bigger voice and occupying the space, no, this feeling that we are invisible many times for society and we are here discussing about how to be useful, how to contribute to the construction of the world, how to be part of the future, even the idea of project, no? the, the project is the, the projection of something that is going to happen, I want to be part of that. No? And, 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 but we at the same time have this frustration that our work is not so appreciated or is not uh, visible. Uh, but at the, at the end, there is always this optimism that we <laughs> will keep doing it, we'll keep trying. No? Um, I think that uh, this idea that not everything is an architectural problem, it's a relaxed um, uh, <laughs> quotation that I took to Marianne, who is not here now, uh, but also some defense, defenses of the design uh, as the tool, as the, the, the task of architecture has been really great today. So I, I, I like statistics, as you, all of you know. Um, we have had today three uh, offices run by only one person, and the three are women. Perhaps this is part of the future. Uh, we have had 11 offices with the name, a name that is not the name of the founders. It's, uh, perhaps this is a company style or what. And, and 10 offices that are like showing an incredible explosion of the local production, uh, but uh, beyond a kind of global thinking. So I think this is also 
three topics that uh, will be part of future uh, symposiums. It's a big satisfaction for me to finish this. Now I will, I will start to be happy having a drink outside. Thank you very much for all of you for your assistance. Thank you to the moderators.